What's up, folks? My name is Mike, and this is some Fear Online. I'm playing in the... I forget the game mode. Gosh dang. But uh, it's the one where you become an effective person after you kill X amount of people. So in this video, I want to talk about some things that I think Fear Online could improve upon uh, to make it a better game overall and make it so that when the open beta comes out, it is a more enjo enjoyable experience for the larger mats people. Now, I have a fairly large list here, so if I, if I don't get to everything, I will make a part two. But uh, I'll just quickly jump right into it. I'm going to start off... The way I'm going to order this is it's going to be from the start until the end of a game. So first thing you do when you're, going to, when you're going to play Fear is you load the launcher and you have to log in to play Fear. And that's something that I think, I don't mind that, but it's really it's really annoying that there is no remember me option. Because every single time you press start game on the Fear launcher, you have to log in. And it would be very, very appreciated if it was just a little box to remember me. So I just press start game and the game launches and that's it, that's all. Uh, next up. Um, one of the things that I find very, very common and very annoying is game invites. People are constantly inviting me to join their game, and I don't want to. Uh, if, there, if there was an option to disable game invites, that would just be beautiful. Because I remember one time, I left Fear Online when I went to watch Game of Thrones. An hour later, I came back, and I just kept pressing cancel. I think I was pressing cancel for about two and a half, three minutes before I was just like, you know what, I'll join one of these games, and then I will leave, so that way I don't have to keep canceling all these game invites. Cause it was just ridiculous. But um, in the game lobbies as well, uh, I think that it would be nice if you if if you could see the score and how much time was left in the in the game. Because a lot of times when there is um, when there's very little time left in the game, it'll say that you can't join a almost finished game. And when you're waiting in the lobby, you have no idea how long that is. That could be five minutes. That could be they could be done in two seconds. I have no idea, so adding just a little timer in the scoreboard there would be great. As well as, it wouldn't, I don't think it'd be that bad of an idea if you just added also the scores of people, because there's a large box that's just filled up with someone's name. Um, I think I think having their score in the game wouldn't, would be pretty cool to have in the lobby system as well. Um, or, or the score of the last game too, so that way you could see what everyone's score was um, in the previous game. But then, um, something that isn't related really to the gameplay itself, um, it's just more how to get points quicker so that way people can experience more of the guns a little bit faster. Uh, I think that you should be able to sell or trade some of the crafting materials for points. Trading for points you can't really, but uh, for example, if someone has, uh, has a crafting material that you need, you can go ahead and trade it with them. That's something that I'm, I don't really, I don't know how that would work if people would like that. I'm just trying to give suggestions here, but the sell crafting materials is something that I think would be really helpful because I myself I'm probably only gonna craft one thing and that's the patent and whatever that that patent gun and then I'm done I'm not gonna use my crafting materials for anything else so I'd much rather be able to sell those crafting materials get points and buy guns that I'm more interested in getting um, in addition to points for selling a crafting materials I think you should get a, some some sort of amount of points for leveling up so when you go from level one to two let's say 1,000 points one to or two to three, maybe another thousand, something like that. Just some some sort of um, layout where you get extra points, and it's a little bit easier to get points and buy upgrades and stuff like that. Um, and also, uh, since I'm running out of time here, wow, that was quick. Uh, I think I don't know why swears or, or curse words are censored. I think it should be there should be an option to, to disable it because uh, I don't know. It just feels weird whenever someone says a bad word and there's just hearts censoring it. But uh, I'll leave it at that for this video. I do have about. I don't know, seven or eight more suggestions. So those are just some of the ones before I even get to the gameplay. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If anyone from Area Games is watching, uh, feel free to put these into the game to make it a little bit better. Uh, my name is Mike. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. More videos to come, and I will see you in the very near future.